Hey, what's going on? I'm on my computer on YouTube, and um, this is in reaction to my post-game video. Some folks have been saying that the Golden Tate hit on Sean Lee was legal and a clean hit. Well, apparently there's this video here featuring um, Babe Laufenberg from CBS 11 in uh, Dallas, and as you can see, the title explains it. He explains how the hit, uh, the Golden Tate hit on Lee was blatantly illegal. Here we go. Listening to any talk radio, you can't escape it. Was a hit on Sean Lee illegal? Unequivocally, indisputably, irrevocably, and unquestionably, the answer is yes. NFL players watch a video produced by the league's officiating office before every season with rule changes and points of emphasis. Apparently, it may not have made its way to the Great Northwest or to the replacement officials, but watch closely. Prior to 2012, a blindside block occurred when the blocker was moving toward his own end line and approached his opponent from behind or from the side. Beginning this season, the definition has been expanded to include when the blocker is moving parallel to his own end line. The recipient of a blindside block is protected from blows to the head or neck area, as well as forcible contact with the crown or forehead hairline parts of the helmet to the body. Ooh. Okay, all you need is one, but the hit Seattle's Golden Tate put on Sean Lee had not one, not two, but three elements for an illegal hit of a defenseless player. To ah. review, a blindside block defined as a blocker working parallel or toward the line of scrimmage. That player cannot hit with the crown of the helmet to any part of the body. Additionally, it's illegal to dip and rip, meaning starting the hit low and working your way up to the head. Very well said, Mr. Laufenberg. Very well said.